Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Drew Foistel visiting here at the Science Rendezvous in Kingston, Ontario, sponsored by Queen's University. And as a Queen's alumni, I'm very proud to be here and, uh, and support this event. I think it's important that we have these local and regional activities so that students from the university and researchers can come out and share their stories and information with the kids and get them excited about their future and thinking about what's next in space and space exploration. So my opinion is that uh, what's important for us is to continue to focus on research related to climate change, understanding how our dynamic Earth is changing. Uh, certainly we all know that Earth has had a very dynamic and different past than the one we, we see now. The Earth is nearly five billion years old. Humans have been on the planet for maybe two million years, depending on how you count it, humanoid species, and so um, just a very small fraction of the total time. And we know the Earth as a geoscientist, we know the Earth has changed uh, constantly, both geologically and atmospherically. And what's important for us is to understand what influence are humans uh, having on the climate? How is that going to affect us? We see um, increased flooding. Uh, of course, here in Ontario, we've seen uh, great storms all over the world. And everybody, if you talk to them, says, well, it seems like things are different now. Um, and they are different. And what's, what's important for us is to continue that research so that we can uh, better understand, communicate those changes, uh, look at the association between humans and science and the effects that we see of our presence here based on the data that we have. And to just continue to share that so that uh, policies, proper policies can be made that will um, have reasonable approaches to the way that we manage our infrastructure, our energy generation, and uh, that will allow humans to continue to successfully live and exist on this planet. Because after all, right now, Earth is our only home. And uh, single plant species don't last forever. So if we don't take care of it, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be in real trouble. So keep up the good work, everybody, and uh, keep moving forward with the science.